Hello, welcome to Empath Rider. This is the first video that I'm going to do um, about a bigger card reading and this one, the, I will ask the question, well I did because I already shuffled, um, the question what's his or her next action? Um, this will be quick. If I'm in need um, to clarify something, if I'm not really sure if there will be action or not, then I will pull clarifiers. Um, I'll let you pick the pile, uh, sorry, the card. Um, now, if you pick pile one and you chose this scrunchie, I have another one here. <laughs> Hey, this kind of reminds me of Twin Flames. That's kind of cute. Yeah, the Twin Flame journey can't really be that cute sometimes, but yeah, um, it kind of popped in my mind now. And I also think of rose-colored glasses when I look at the scrunchie. And it kind of is, isn't it, when you are in a Twin Flame journey? If you are in one, it doesn't have to be, it's just... That, came, that popped into my head. Let's see. What is the next actions for pile one? Okay. Um, I feel like, I'm sorry if this, I don't want to sugarcoat it. I'm an empath, but I try to still be correct when I'm reading. Uh, I'm reading intuitively, so yeah. I feel like a person um, is in a place of complacency. I feel like they maybe are at the point where they've given up, not maybe on the connection, but like on, on a lot of stuff. You can see on, on the clear face of the card. I don't read it just based on the pictures I read intuitively but you can see the sad gaze and bored just maybe maybe even depressed maybe they have familiar familiar um, surroundings that they feel comfortable in even though those uh, surroundings can be toxic Maybe they feel stuck. Yeah, I kind of get the vibe that they feel stuck. Maybe they aren't awakened yet to what this connection mean, means to them. And trust me, that can happen. And they know that, um, that if somebody has to make a move that they have to, or if you're feeling like the one you, the, you, you watching me, um, you shouldn't reach out. I feel like even if there comes no movement from this person, I feel like they have to make it. I mean, if you're in uh, at this, uh, if you're watching this uh, reading, it's because you're expecting from them, that, which is good because this card is a sign that they should, they because they know that they should be the ones to make a move if they will do. But for now, I feel like it will take some time if they do. I will take a clarifier because I want to know if they will eventually reach out. But right now, at this moment, uh, I'm gonna have to say that they are in a place where they are getting used to feeling maybe stuck in their situation. Maybe they did something to you, that's why they can't. Maybe it isn't that easy, but they also, they are sad. I don't feel like they are happy. I'm gonna take a clarifier though. Will they eventually reach out? Will they eventually reach out? Okay. See, like this is the confirmation. 
that if you're trying, maybe they, they will eventually get out of this energy and get into an energy of um, where they will try to get out of that complacency they are in. But they don't know how. See, this, this card talks about one not being able to find peace and purity. How do they ascend to that? They heart long longs for you. And maybe they are there are different circumstances, maybe their friends um, are pulling them down or are putting them in a better direction too. Maybe their home life. Maybe there's something corrupt in their life. See, they are stuck, but eventually they'll get out. Or they are trying to, or maybe they are thinking, they need to get out of that thinking state they are. For now, it's a no, but eventually, I feel like they will try and... See, it's, it's really hard to get out of that uh, state of... Um, being stuck so it will take time I think that's the overall issue I'm sorry if it, it's, it's not the message you wanted to hear this was pile one hope it resonated if it does leave a comment please this was pile number two if you chose this beautiful turquoise um, scrunchie Intuitively, intuitively, I'm seeing the sea, someone sitting in a bench and thinking about life and having a nostalgia in them. Could be you, could be them. Okay, so will, uh, what's their next action? Towards you. I do look by the way uh, the meanings of the cards because I want to pick up on everything maybe it could help somebody understand the situation better I have like this tenderness in my heart and this card talks about having power but using it in a gentle way like a whale and I'm picking up on wall signs, not just because of the blue color and the water, but because of deep feelings, emotions, and even if your person is not showing you that side. I don't know. I'm not going to dig into what type of connection this is, if you're talking or not. I feel like their next action, if they do take one, because it's, it's unclear, it says that it, it's, it's clear um, emotion running through this person. I don't know if it will lead to action, but if it will, it will be gentle. I'm gonna need a clarifier, of course, because I want to know for sure. Because as of right now, it's a, it's a positive kind of energy, so. I'm clarified. Whoever this is hides maybe behind um, a powerful stance, like maybe they have everything they want, but they don't have you yet, or they aren't in the clear of that, that maybe they have to do with gentleness or they try to come at you with gentleness um, I'm gonna look at the clarifier maybe it helps decipher this I feel like it's, it's a positive card I would say yes but the the only thing that's standing 
in the way I think of these actions towards you or what their next action will be is that I will be gentle with you um, I don't know they may they may come forward with with a gentle offer because they've been maybe too too harsh on the situation maybe they have manipulated the situation and they have seen that they have got no process maybe they will come with an offer of of a gift or try to persuade you in in a gentle way i feel like this speaks about actions uh in a not not in a not in a brash way, you know that it will take time and that we will reach out eventually. That they want what they next actions would be would be most likely that they're trying to. Maybe it's a newer connection. I got that somehow. Um, that they wanna wanna date you. Maybe I don't know why I get that. It's just. It's such a. It's not more of a of a. Oh, I'll come pick you up or I'll throw up at your house. It's like more of a nicer way to go through things. Maybe they'll send you a text first. Maybe they'll test the waters quite literally. Maybe they'll come with remorse and a gift, flowers maybe. That's what I got actually. I feel like it's a positive card. I feel like it's 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 a good energy coming towards you. Could be new, could be old connection. Maybe somebody messed it up. Because I had that 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 intuitively um, picture in my head that somebody messed something up and then now they're trying to get back into your life, but they are not quite there yet. Maybe they're thinking of what they're going to do. And that their next actions is going to be planned and well thought out. And it's not going to hurt you. It's trying, they're trying to be gentle about it. So yeah, that's, that's actually the key words here are gentleness. They'll come with a gentle offer. That's the action. They won't be having like they have whoever, whoever this is they will have a thought out plan on what to do next and that can be a text message that can be giving you a gift maybe not showing up in person maybe even a letter because of the emotions flowing because of the gentleness that's what's coming up as their next action if that's what you wanted to know that they will reach out that yes that's the action they will take but it's going to take some time because it's well thought out i hope it helped if it resonates please tell me in the comment below i'm new so please be gentle hi pile number three welcome if you chose this okay that was kind of scary <laughs> if you chose this pile uh, this scrunchy violet it kind of reminds me of somebody not being able to sleep that's what I'm picking up when I see this color it's also it's a bit um, this is was, was one of my fa favorite scrunchies and I've used it and you can see a hole in it and it's it's withstand it, with, it withstands time is what I'm trying to say and that uh, it's still valuable to me even though it has a tear in it so i don't know if broke a uh, broken trust i don't know that's what i'm picking intuitively so let's see what's their next action towards you okay i take my time with my readings so and i i always look up the meanings so Okay, so whoever this is, even if they are not at the moment, I don't think that they're giving you um, any 
feel like they have a poker face. I don't know why I have to say it. And maybe um, y'all are not you. You are not speaking together. There is no communication, maybe. But I want to say that um, as for them hiding, like somebody's hiding their feelings. So I feel like. Mm, even if they would want to take action that they are trying they are bottling everything up it's kind of an egoistic thing yeah whoever this is even if they were to to take some kind of action i don't I don't necessarily feel that it would be truthful because they would try to hide behind that mm, I'm unbothered, I don't even want to like you, you get what I'm feeling because I get this vibe that yes, maybe they eventually put some effort and take action towards you but it would be like this I'm not really bothered by this so I don't care even if what I'm trying to portray is coming off as I don't know, as this, this stoic expression as this the, the of the offer or the the, the action they, they take they, it might not come as um as as genuine as we would like it to be that's what i'm picking up i want to clarify it to see if uh, if this action would what type of action it would be but don't be fooled because people hide their emotions sometimes because they're scared and uh, they don't want to get hurt and they want they but subconsciously of course hurting somebody else in the process i need a clarifier give me a clarifier for me I'm just gonna pick one up if it doesn't. Okay, so yes, and if they would take action, mm, now I get it. Like maybe it would be like something materialistic that that's not what you're expecting maybe they they want to shower you with with something expensive and you're not that type to you you would be of course grateful but it's not what you're expecting from this person um it's it's an artificial and fake kind of interest maybe that you you will think that that's the case because you're expecting an emotional offer and their action would kind of be like this this on the surface you know stuff like maybe they really want to uh, to impress you with their wealth and maybe this is a situation where they'd want to um, be friends with benefits I don't know why I got that or maybe um, they have options and they but they want you and then but their actions kind of don't show that so their the next actions would would be something that may be pissing you off is what I'm getting and that it would have to do with something flashy and they're trying to um, maybe you think that they were trying to manipulate the situation with that i don't know i don't get the vibe that you would be happy about it and it's just it would be an action coming towards something uh, on the surface it is like unmeaningful like yes you're giving me um an expensive date or you're you're trying to get me to forgive you with with i don't know with a gift or with i don't know something expensive that you're buying or showing off and but 
the emotional growth is not there. If you're asking if their next action is that they they will reappear in your life, that's yes, they will. And yes, they will talk to you maybe, but you on the surface it would look like an immature kind of offering that they will give you. And I get that vibe. Yes, that's what I got. Or maybe, yeah, but I feel like it's not their true, um, I don't feel like they're doing on purpose. They just don't want to get hurt. They're hiding behind this poker face and behind materialistic things. They, they put their energy into everything they have because some people lack emotional growth because they had um, they had difficult childhoods so yeah that's what I got for pile 3 I don't know if that helped if that confused you I'm sorry I tried to put it out as best as I could and I'm reading mostly intuitively at the top of my head because that's just what I get from the cards and that's how I read thank you and see you next time